And so I said, my agenda is that I'm here. And I didn't immediately ask three questions, but my agenda, I told him, and as I discussed with him, I brought the three issues I wanted addressed, and there were simply three. I recall having told you all the history as to how I first met him and why I was not pleased with his money being accepted by the UDP. I recall that he had a very good relationship with the then party leader. As a matter of fact, the firm of the prime minister is still his firm for the Belize Bank. And so I had to ask him, like anybody would, like, what happened to you too? That was one of my questions. The second one was, will you litigate the country to death? Because I don't know how many of you follow the litigation and the implication it is for Belize. But for my legal training, I can tell you it has some severe implications. And the third thing was, I had to ask, is there room for compromise? Because why would you not give up the opportunity if you can hear this person out to bring some kind of sense of peace, semblance, and putting aside this problem that we have? Because it's a problem whether Belizeans want to accept it or not. So let me give the answers. To so the first question, what went wrong? He said basically he didn't say anything bad per se about the, the no prime minister. He said he doesn't know what went wrong. They, he, com he financed their campaign that got them into office um, before the previous election. And um, he knew that they had good relations. He said up to today they still talk or meet on different occasions. It would be good if they declare, since I have to be so open about anybody I meet, I think we need to ask the government to start declare when you meet. I mean, it's, it goes so far, like, I can confirm that when the Prime Minister was to get married, his wife's bachelorette party was held on the yacht belonging to Mr. Ashcroft. So there is a relationship, so they need to disclose the extent of those relationships and meetings. In relation to the second question, will you litigate the country to death? His simple answer was yes. On principle, I will keep litigating because I must show that what was done to me was wrong. And there's only one place I can prove that, it's in the courts. But he did lament the appearances of independence of the courts and the fact that he's in litigation for six years now. So when I heard that, that yes, you will litigate, I know how the court system works. And I know how many appeals would come about and I know how long it could go. But in the meantime, like he rightly pointed out to me, which didn't require pointing out, it's the attorneys who are making the money. If you all notice right now, every time the Ashcroft case goes to court, it's not the attorneys for the government that we pay a fixed salary that go to defend those cases. It is all private attorneys, and they're all connected to somehow the government of the day. And their fees aren't little fees. But nobody wants to hold the country accountable and to tell us, disclose to us finally, how many of these money these attorneys have gotten over the six years every time they litigate with Mr. Ashcroft because we, the Belizean people, are paying that bill. 